Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have no brows because Today I'll be talking about the differences between Korean brows and Western brows. Just the different trends that I saw while living in America and now living in Korea. So I'll be demonstrating today. I'll be doing the Korean eyebrow on this side and the American Western brow on this side. So let's get started. So I normally draw my brows more towards the Korean side. I like the thicker, kind of straighter brows with not much of an arch. My favorite product for the brow is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Taupe. This is the perfect shade if you have like dark hair or brown hair. It's best to go for a shade that's one tone lighter than your hair color. So this is the Taupe shade. You see how it makes very light strokes and it's not too harsh. These are the products that you'll want to use when doing your brows. So to get the straighter brows, I'm going to conceal the top here with concealer. And this is from W Lab, the Creamy Cover Tip Concealer. So you could just cover it with concealer or you could pluck them. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this tip to start your brows from here and then your arch is right here and then it should end right about here let's start with the Caribbean brow trend as mentioned earlier I want to start my brows like right about here and end it right here so first conceal or pluck the high point of your brows to achieve the straighter horizontal brow shape now don't make it completely horizontal and do leave a very slight angle so after you're satisfied with the angle and decide on the thickness, start drawing a line on top of your brows with really light strokes so it doesn't look too harsh. Korean brows are more on the softer and natural side. To have no arch, draw a line straight across to the end of the tail like this and then just start filling in that area right under the arch. And this will make their brows look more straight and thick. And again, with very light strokes. Now connect the top point of your brow to the end of the brow tail and fill in all the little empty areas. Now I'm going to use a Q-tip to blend some of the products in the center of the brow to the front of the brow so it looks very natural and soft. Okay, so the thickness of the brow is the same here with no arch and with a very short tail. It does give me a very youthful, soft look. So done with the Korean brow trend. Now let's move on to the Western brow trend. So this time I want a very nice arched brow. Since I normally do my brows very straight, I'm going to create a more angled brow by lining the top of the brows and drawing it slightly above the arch since I normally pluck this area to make it more horizontal. So just like this. Now lining the bottom of the brows. This time I want a nice arched brow, so not drawing it like straight across like before. I'm also keeping the brows thicker in the front and thinner towards the end. And then drawing it downward. Just like before, I'm blending the product from the center up to the front so I don't have any harsh look in the front of the brow. Defining the ends a little bit more. Okay, so stick to thin. Now apply some concealer to clean up the area and define the edges at the top and bottom. And then just blend it. All cleaned up. Now, Western brows, they have a really nice highlight on the brow bone. So grabbing my favorite shade and popping it right here. So done with the Western brow trend. Here are the two brow trends side by side. Huge difference, right? So here's how the brows look from far away. They do look slightly different. The Korean brow trend. And then this side makes me look or sexy. <laughs> Which side do I look better on? 
this side. I kind of like this side. I'm not used to drawing my brows like this. I always draw like this. So maybe I should do this more often. Let me know down in the comment box which trend you guys prefer. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.